Hey guys, my name is Shubran Shivaskar and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add videos in your framer websites that starts playing once you hover on them and stops playing if you move the cursor away. So now without wasting our time, let's get started. So the first thing that we are going to do is insert a video component. So I'm going to drag a video component right here on my project. I'm going to give this a width of 500 pixels and a height of 500 pixels as well. Now we are going to center align it. Let's give this a radius of 24 pixels so that it looks nice. Once we do that, we are going to the layer section, right click on the video component and add a stack to it and right click on the stack again to create a new component. Give your component a title, so I'm going to use video hover, you can choose anything you want and then I'm going to create a new component right here. After that, we are going to go to the layout menu, add a few rows inside it like this. Let's set the width to around 100% and set the height to around 100% again. Set the type to absolute and make sure that it's centered with the left and right constraint set as zero right here. Let's rename this to overlay and after doing that what we are going to do is remove the two frames inside it like this. Select the overlay layer again, scroll down, fill it with a black color that you want to have. You can reduce the opacity to add a nice overlay to it like this and let the set the distribution to center right here. Once we have done all of that, we are going to the layout menu again and add a new set of rows right here. So I'm gonna drag and create a new set of rows. Delete the frames inside the row section again. Select the row section that we have just created, set it to around 100 pixels. Now scroll down and fill the frame that we have just created to a nice black color and then reduce the opacity to around 50%. This should look pretty good right here. Let's use it to 50, yeah. Now add a nice little radius so that it's a circle and then set the distribution to center. After doing that, what we are going to do is add a play icon. So select any icon, drag and drop into onto your project. Go to the search option and type in play so that it turns into a play button. You can change the color as you want right here. Now you could see that the overlay frame that we have just created is getting out in the corners. That's because we forgot to add the border radius that we had added to the video component. So I'm going to give this a nice border radius of 24 pixels. After doing all of this, what we are going to do is select the video component that we have just created and then we are going to add a hover state. Once we do that, select the overlay layer, scroll down and reduce the opacity to zero right here. Now select the play button icon and the overlay reduce the width to around 1 and height as 1 as well and reduce the opacity to 0 and do the same for the icon as well right here now one of the last steps that we have to do inside a video component is go back to our default state select the component video component and set the playing option to no and on the hover state select the video component again and set the playing option to yes right here after doing everything that we have done so far, you can go back to the default state, select the video component and upload any kind of video that you would want to have. Now, if you go back to the default home screen and go to the previous section, you can see if I hover my mouse on the video component, it starts playing. And if I move the cursor away, the video pauses at the right moment. So that was it for this video guys. I hope you liked it. Please like, comment and share it with your friends. Have fun. Bye bye.